So, you spent the past few weeks or months building your small business's website, and now it's time to share it with the world. How are we gonna spread the word? How are we gonna get people to begin visiting the website? Well, today I wanna show you guys five easy and free things that we do for our clients here at LaunchKit to help them begin generating website traffic. That being said, let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, so first main free tip here, we are gonna to wanna to set up your Google My Business profile. Your Google Business profile is basically your business's social media digital profile on Google. It's one of the best ways to get eyeballs on your business and your website. This is the profile that comes up on the right side of the screen when you search your business name, and it's also the profile that comes up when you search your business on Google Maps. Lucky for us, getting this set up is free and it's actually pretty easy. It's just like setting up any other social media profile. The more accurate, up-to-date information you provide Google, the more credible, authentic, and legit your business is in the algorithm's eyes. All right, number two, we're gonna set up your business listing on relevant sites. Okay, so picture a spider web, right? And your website's at the center of that spider web. The next ring out is your business's digital profiles. You basically just wanna have your business present on as many of these platforms as possible. We've got a list here. This is basically all the general platforms that your business should be on. Google, YouTube, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Glassdoor, and Yahoo. These are great general platforms. Everybody should be on them. They're not really industry specific. Beyond those, you'll also wanna be listed on any industry related platforms. So for example, if you work in the construction or home services industry, you'd wanna be on things like Angie's List, Thumbtack, Nextdoor, Dexnose, those type of platforms where your customers are. These platforms are great because you can claim your business listing for free and then add your website link so that you now have the opportunity for people to visit your site. Hint, this is actually what a backlink is. You're just directing people back to your website. All right, two down. Number three, create a link in bio web page. So speaking of creating ways for people to navigate back to your website from a digital profile, we want to create an easy and great way for people on Instagram and TikTok to visit your website. I'm sure we've all heard the reference link in bio. We basically just want to create a web page for that. This is a web page link that goes in your Instagram and TikTok bio. The web page should be mobile first design, meaning that it's designed to literally be used on a phone. Um, and basically it'll just guide the user in your ideal direction. For example, again, if you're in the construction and home services businesses, you might want your link in bio page to maybe have buttons that go to your home page, services pages, and a get a quote page, and maybe the about us page. We'll go ahead and insert a picture here. This is LaunchKit's link in bio page, just to kind of give you a feel for what this looks like. There's basically two ways to create this. Number one, within your website page builder, whether it's Squarespace, Wix, LaunchKit, um, go ahead and create basically just a simple page that has buttons vertically stacked in the center of the page, and then just make those buttons go to your desired pages. The second way to do this is using a platform like Linktree. Linktree is a platform and service that's specifically designed for creating link in bio pages. At LaunchKit, our social media management tool, Metricool, also has this feature built in. So we use Metricool to create ours and it works great. All right, next topic, the announcement post. To get some initial traffic to your small business website, we basically need to make people aware that your website exists. So social media can help us with that. To pull this off, let's basically just ask the marketing team to create a graphic that introduces your new website. If you don't have a marketing team, you could simply just basically take a screenshot of your homepage, maybe drop that in Canva, maybe give it a colorful background, add a drop shadow, and voila, you have a basic graphic announcement. With that graphic, we're basically just gonna take it and we're gonna post it on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Google My Business. Think of this as letting your warm audience, people that follow you or know you, know that you are open for business. All right, last item, this is a very important one, so thank you for sticking around. We want to create a recurring to-do list item for writing blog articles and portfolio pieces for the website. If I was your doctor, I would tell you that one of the best things you can do for your website is consistently creating blog articles, case studies, project portfolios, and news pieces for your website. Doing so will give you the chance to share your voice and become a thought leader in the industry. 
Are you gonna be famous overnight? No. Are you gonna be instantly flooded with leads? No. But if you show up to the gym consistently, you will notice results. Creating content is like getting an at-bat in baseball. You're, you're gonna strike out, you're gonna hit some singles, maybe a double, but you never know when you could hit a home run, and it could be today. I understand that it's difficult to consistently create content, and that's why most people don't do it. It's the same reason why most people watch Netflix instead of going to the gym. But if you do what most people aren't, you'll emerge on top. So to help stay disciplined with this, I've created a recurring to-do list item that reminds me to write a blog article for the LaunchKit website each week. You can create this using Google Calendar, Things 3, Reminders. The to-do list should basically just pop up each week and then all you need to do is cross it off. We did a blog article and a YouTube video recently where I talk about my routine for enjoying writing. It's actually become one of my favorite activities because I found a method that works for me. I write to think. I write to hopefully make at least a positive impact on one person. So in conclusion, there you have it. Those are five free ways to initially get traffic to your small business website. I hope that you found this article insightful. If it sparked any questions, feel free to send me an email. My email is kevin at launchkitdesign.com. LaunchKit works with small to medium sized businesses on building and maintaining their websites through our website program. So we'd love to help you out. I appreciate you tuning in today and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.